So it's been quite a while since I've done one of these videos where I actually talk into the mic. So I think we're due. All right, so this one's gonna be a pretty good one. I hope it helps at least one person out because at least for me, this was a pretty big find. Now, unfortunately, most of y'all are probably just better than me, but maybe there's just one person that's like six digit and I can help them out. Now, let me tell you, the title's kind of clickbaity and funky, but it, trust me, this is literally what happened. So let me take you back all the way to the beginning. One day I was playing the amazing aim trainer, we all call it Usu, and for some reason, I just couldn't seem to stream this day. I don't know what was going on. Like my tapping felt okay, you know, not the best of days, but I just couldn't seem to hold on to a single stream. I don't know. And I'm not talking about a stream map. I'm talking about maybe like a prolonged burst in a jump map, you know, something like that. And I'm a hidden player, you know, so sometimes you don't actually see what you're doing wrong because the notes are kind of gone. So that's where Rewind comes in. Now recently they had an update to where you can see your actual keystrokes. Now I've seen this version of it on Ed's stream like for three months, but they finally dropped it for everyone else, you know, the, uh, the people with the less clout. You know, so I update it. And every time I mess up on a stream, I throw my footage in there and I'm like, all right, what did I do wrong this time? And I made a pretty surprising find. I finally decided to figure out this problem for good. And I went way back, all the way back in the BPM, all the way back to 160 because I needed to know for sure that my tapping wasn't the problem. Now I could have just played one of those long square stream maps, but it's kind of boring, isn't it? And also in a real map, of course, the streams aren't stacked like that. You know, they're kind of spread out a little bit. So I just played chronostasis. And at the beginning, you know, everything's going kind of good. But then we get to the dip spike. So I threw this in rewind, you know, I was like, okay, well, I missed the first one, hit the second one. I, I probably just miss aim somewhere in the stream, right? And that's partly true. But the real annoying part of this is look at the note lock. Like, look at this. I over aim one note and then I hit all the other notes after it, but it doesn't matter. Note lock just already took over. But usually when I look and rewind, even though I can see on the screen the X's when you tap, I can't see the actual keystrokes like are at the top right now. So I kind of just have to guess if I finger locked or not. But now I know for sure I didn't finger lock. So when I'm actually playing a map and something like this happens and I just start getting late 100s and 50s, my UR bar is pretty huge, so I can actually see it in real time. And I might think to myself that maybe I finger locked, but I'm not really sure. And then I start tapping faster to try to get on key. And when I start tapping faster, I really start tapping faster. I over tap. And then of course, eventually the UR bar swings all the way over to the early. And now I'm caught in this like tug of war where I can't just get back on the stream. And I wind up running out of stamina and just GG. So after this revelation, I had an idea. As crazy as it sounds, but just as the title suggests, what if I went slower to try to go faster? Seems dumb, seems unreasonable, but it worked. So every single time I played a map after this moment, I'd look at the BPM and then I would consciously try to stream 10 BPM lower than that BPM. So whatever I thought it was, I would just go slower than that. Now the other day, I did show that I had an improvement in hidden only streams. However, when I threw Hard Rock on, I was a bit streaky. And that's really just a mental thing because of course, the BPM stays the same, but there are two things that really just influence my tapping. Like I just get tapping nerve. One is the song. Like if the song just starts getting hype out of nowhere, even though the BPM's the same, like I feel like it's faster and I just get tapping nerve. I, I don't know, it's dumb. And then the second one is the spacing. You know, if I just see a normal streamer burst, it's whatever, but the second you start throwing the loops in there, it's just like, you know, oh. GG. So in addition to tapping slower than I thought I needed to, whenever a section like that would come up, I would do the same thing again. So I would go even slower than I thought I needed to. I would completely focus on my aim and just let my tapping go autopilot. And that gave me a drastic improvement in both act and just being able to hit notes like in general. Now I love to shred from time to time where I just play like super hard maps with hard rock. And it's like, I'm not expecting to hit anything, but if I do, it's a clip farm. And for those maps, I'm finding that, you know, sometimes I, uh, I hit things. And then there's maps that have some irregular stream and burst patterns that 
Normally I wouldn't be able to hit, but now I can. But where I found the most success is right in the middle. The maps that I can't FC yet, but I can play competitively, if that makes any sense. Which would be mid to high 7 star maps with Hard Rock. Since most of my act is tanked on some sort of stream in these maps, being able to hit some of them pretty much just bumped up my letter grade by one. So anything I C ranked, B ranked, anything B ranked, A ranked, stuff like that. And it's also allowed me to pass a few. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said before, most of y'all are just better than me anyway, so this probably didn't help anyone, but, but I guess you never know, right? <laughs>